On August 4th, 2019, 24-year-old Connor Betts, along with his sister Megan and a couple of friends, went to a local bar area in Dayton, Ohio, known as the Oregon District. As he excused himself from his friends and his sister, he walked back to his vehicle where he retrieved his semi-automatic rifle with a 100-round drum magazine and tactical body armor. As he walked back to 5th Street, he started firing his rifle at any and every one. In an estimated 30 seconds, he fired off 41 shots, killing 9 people and wounding 17 others, one of the dead being his own sister Megan. Afterwards, the police confronted Connor, firing multiple shots, killing him instantly. His violent reign of terror was finally over. Serving a search warrant going through his personal writings and social media postings, it was clearly evident that Connor Betts was a powder keg waiting to explode. A Twitter account belonging to Betts retweeted extreme left-wing and anti-police tweets. His last posting was a retweet, quote, Millennials have a message for the Joe Biden generation. Hurry up and die, unquote. Also in his personal journal, were violent writings. One of his former high school classmates said Connor had a list of students that he would either rape or kill, his own sister being on that very list. He would also hold up his hands and pretend he had a gun and walk around school shooting people. He was a really dark and depressive person, his friend said. And here we are in the Oregon district walking down fifth street here in dayton ohio this is of course the scene of where that mass shooting happened in 2019. if you see directly in front of you that is a bar called blind bobs now presumably that is the bar where connor and his sister megan with her friends came to to start a night of bar hopping after they left he went to his car as is shown on surveillance video went to his vehicle, retrieved his backpack, and his backpack had his rifle with a 100 round capacity drum with his body armor and came here and just started firing. Of course, his sister Megan was one of the nine people murdered. Do they know if he targeted his sister or was she just accidentally shot in the process? Who knows? 31 seconds he was shooting and after that the police which were presumably right down the street right here seen what was happening and ran returned fire and killed him and uh, this is Ned Poppers this is where the majority of the shooting happened where most of those people died it's right here